Hello, my name is Wayne W. Johnson, and I'm auditioning for the role of Joseph Crow. This is the configuration of the monitoring wells at the IBM Endicott site. And this is the configuration of the Indian burial mounds in the Fort Hill Cemetery site that we're standing on. The patterns are identical. Do you know what ley lines are? The burial mounds that the Cayuga tribe built on this site actually acted as capacitors for that energy. They were built to counteract the imbalances that the Europeans were predicted to cause. In times of harmony, ley line energy runs in a north-south direction. If it starts running east-west, well, that's not good. But here's the kicker. Those monitoring wells in Endicott, 120 miles south of here, their configuration, their individual shape, and the alloy that they were constructed with are acting as a huge resistor, distorting all the lay energy upstate. And yes, it's all intentional. It is. I wish it weren't. The obelisk dedicated to Chief Logan of the Cayuga is much more than a memorial. It was designed to act as the primary transductor of the region. Reach out your hand and touch it. Feel anything? Any vibration? Magnetism? Exactly. My name is Wayne W. Johnson. Thank you for the opportunity.